literally just got this through the door so I'm pretty sure this is a review video I'm not sure who I got this from I don't know whether you still like these types of videos guys of me doing an unboxing as well as a review so please let me know in the comment section if you're still enjoying these types of videos because you know it's a, as much as a surprise for me it is, as it is for you oh okay Ooh. I'm presuming this is from Born Pretty because they always package their parcels like this. Oh, okay. Wow. What are these? Oh my God. Okay, so we've got all of them. We have, oh my god, that is such a cool stamping plate. Wow. We have some flakes and a pen of some sort and some more flakes. Oh, they look gorgeous. Some more flakes. So let's have a look at these first. They've all got a covering on. So I'm going to take the coverings off them all and uh, let's see what's inside. <laughs> all right, let's have a look what these are, if I can get them out. Crikey. Okay, so we've got a matte top coat. So I'm gonna get some nails out and I'm gonna test them and then I'm gonna put the matte top coat on a couple and normal top coat on others and let's see what all these gel polishes look like. It's not a One minute, 37 seconds later. Oh, look at that. That's just come out the lamp. Oh my God, that is awesome. Matte top coat. Oh my God. Oh my life. That is so good. Okay, let's try some more. So there are all the colours done. I cannot get over this matte top coat. I mean, I've got um, which this satin sheets from Femme Fatale Nails. I mean, that is one of the best top matte top coats I've ever used in my life. This is a really, really close second. And I cannot believe that Born Pretty have come out with a, a matte top coat this good. It even feels like velvet. It feels so nice. When I have this on my nails, which I will at some point, all I'll be doing is just feeling nails like this because it is so 
I can't explain it. It is, it feels really, really nice. And then these three are with, I have put Madame Glam's top coat on there, but these are really gorgeous autumn colors. So if you are on the market for some new gel polishes, I would definitely check these out. All right, so let's see what this is because I have no clue. This is a very big bag for what, what's inside. Oh, so it just says Born Pretty on it there. If you can see that. Okay, what do we think? Have your guesses before I open it. I'll count from five to one. Have a guess. Five, four, three, two, one. I'm guessing an acrylic brush. Oh my God, I'm right, no way. I thought it would have been a gel brush, but oh my God, I'm right. This is, looks like a number eight. That's nice and solid. So I am going to try that in a minute with some um, acrylic powders. Oh, that is so smart. And I really like how everything looks with the lid on and stuff. Love that, that is so cool. All right, so the last things of these, and I think what I'm gonna do is I'll show you them out of the packets, and then I'm going to incorporate both of these with acrylic, and I'm gonna do some stamping over the top of the acrylic. So all of it sort of comes together with using the acrylic brush. All right, so all these come with the protective seal on, and that's because if you sneeze or slightly cough, these things will go everywhere. Oh wow, there really is not a lot in there. I'm pretty sure it's advertised like that, but if you put it up the side, you've literally got that much. But I don't think you need a lot, so I'm gonna keep the top, and I'm gonna try and take some off the top using this, and let's see. Oh my God, these look absolutely gorgeous. I know you don't get a lot, but oh my life. These bags, by the way, are the bane of my life. I absolutely hate them. Oh my God, look at that, and that's a blue one. Oh, good grief. Wow, okay. So, as I said, I'll show you what they, them two look like in the glitter, in the glitter, in the acrylic. And then, oh, look at this, got Artist L012, which obviously I'm going to have to ruin. Then this is a stamping plate. I remember ordering this because I want to start doing a little bit more abstract. I mean, I know I sort of did, did them, but they, they aren't anything like what I want to do. I want to incorporate things like these into my designs. Just weird, just weird, weird things. And this plate is definitely full of weird. But look at the designs on this plate. This plate is, as I said, Artist L0 one two but this plate is exactly what i was looking for for some more weird and wonderful things to incorporate into my nail designs <laughs> all right let's try this brush out a layer of white and then i'm going to add some of the flakes to it then i'm going to encapsulate and clear and use the brush see how it holds up to that and then i will do some stamping. Okay, one thing I will say about this brush is it holds everything. Well, okay, not everything, that, that's a bit unfair. Um, the white, it really wanted to keep hold of the white, so you've, you have really have to make sure that you clean this brush thoroughly as you're going along or else you're going to end up with a clogged brush for sure. So that is first impressions, but it's not bad. It did its job. All right, so next are these um, flakes. I'm going to see if they will stick on to this dried acrylic now. Which they sort of are, but that's not the um, way I wanted to go with it at all so I'm going to just dust that off and what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply some clear acrylic like that and then I'm, I want to dip into it and then pour them on like that that's the way I wanted it to go so I'm going to put the pink at the top the blue at the bottom and leave the middle white just 
See how you literally only need a little bit to get the effect that I was after. Okay, so I'm gonna let that dry and then encapsulate this nail with clear acrylic with this brush. Okay, so it actually put acrylic on really well, I'm not gonna lie, but it's, for me, this, I'm presuming is a number eight, which is a little bit too small. It does hang on to the acrylic, but it did what it says it does, it put acrylic on a nail. Don't know how it would hold up to a whole hand, so I will leave my final thoughts on this brush until I have used it fully. All right, so now I'm on to the stamping plate. So I've got a, a cotton massive square thing and I'm just going to clean it and then make sure it, everything is nice and clean. Don't do this with your stamper though because you need, where's my sellotape? To clean this, you need sellotape. So you just take that off and just clean the, the, the head. Don't ever do it with um, acetone. So now I'm going to get Twinkle Tea stamping polish in black and I'm going to pour it on. I, want, I don't want a massive, massive one because I don't want it going over too much of this. Okay, so I'm going to do that one. Okay, that wasn't good. No, that's still not come out, okay. Sometimes, some of these stamping plates, the etching isn't brilliant on them. So regardless of what I said before, I've just got to choose another one and hope that's a bit better. I'm gonna try that one there, see if that one works. No, that one hasn't worked either. Ah, okay, let's try any. Any will do, just to see if this stamping plate that I've waited seven weeks for, can anything can work. Oh no, I'm going to be gutted. I mean, this is, these are two faces. I mean, how cool are them? I am really, I am going to be absolutely gutted if they, none of these work. Oh, that one works. It's come out. Two faces have come out. Oh, cool. Okay, let's... Just stamp this one then. Okay, so with this one you can see through it, so I'm just gonna do it. Oh no, come on. Oh, it's come off, okay. There's just one bit that didn't go on, which was something around here. Other than that, it worked. So some of the stuff, some aren't etched as, as deep as others, but I'm just glad something works so I can use something on my nails. So now I'm just going to get some top coat and let's see how this comes out. I mean, I'm gutted about the stamping plate. I'm going to have to try some others and see if they, how well they come out. But these pow the, the, the flakes, can you see what effect they make? They are so cool. And by the way, I love this nailer I've done. <laughs> I might even have to do something like this on myself because that is so cool. I absolutely love it. All right, guys, well, that is the end of this review from Born Pretty. As it, the, all these uh, gel polishes were absolutely gorgeous. The matte top coat was outstanding. I cannot tell you how good that was and how lovely it felt. These flakes are, I will definitely be getting some more of these on my next review because you can just do so many things with them and they all look gorgeous. I know you don't get a lot in them, but you really don't need a lot to get the design that you really want. This acrylic brush, I will be giving a full review next time I change my design. So I will use this for my nails just to see how well this goes. The stamping plates hit and miss, depends how well these things are etched. I am a little bit disappointed with the stamping plate because the ones that I first 
chose I really wanted to work and they didn't but I will play around with it again and see what happens next Alright guys, every link to everything I have used in today's review will be in the description box, go check them out. I think I'm pretty positive I've got a discount code as well. If you're going to buy something, you might as well get some money off. Thank you so much for watching guys, and I hope to see you next time. Bye guys!